May not be the biggest grid of the weekend, but it's certainly going to be one of the feistiest. Sam Baker and Kieran McDonald from the front of the grid from Edmonds and Willisey. Halaki and Diamond from Jones and Hinton. Yap, Harrison and Matthew Cardwell round out the 11-cart grid for the Clubman's Fest uh, Festival final here. This one's going to be a very tight battle. It usually is in Clubman's. Here we go. Straight away early doors. Baker and McDonald charging for that first corner. Baker's going to get there first. They tighten up through turn one and Marcus Edmonds through in a second position. Good start too from the 19. He might get second behind Edmonds, who's got through to the lead. Will Halaki has got through in a second. Now he's going to drop to third, potentially fourth. No, he's hung on to that as they got their way through. Oh, a little bit of a, a tussle there through the first couple of corners. But out in front, it is the 67 of Edmonds who emerges in front of Will Halaki in second place. Third position dropping down the order there. That is the pole sitter, Sam Baker. So it is a nice start there from our first two away. And it's going to be a really interesting race from here on in. So out of that final turn and down the hind straight once again. And it's Edmonds leading Halaki, Baker and McDonald from Willisey in fifth position. And up from the back of the grid, Matthew Cardwell has come up into P6. A heroic start from him. We're missing somebody. Jones has come through in seventh place. Then it's Diamond, Yap and uh, Scott Hinton. So I think we're missing... Who is that we must be missing? I think we're missing Simon Harrison, who has not come through at the end of the first lap. That's a shame, but Baker is now right on the back of the 19 of Will Halaki, who's trying to come up. The timing screen's not quite right for whatever reason. It's showing him down in 10th. Now it's up to second. So the top four are very close together. Edmonds, Halaki, Baker and McDonald. Very close into each other for first, second, third, fourth. Then it's Cardwell, Willisey, Jones, Diamond, Yap and Hinton up the inside. This is Halaki's bid to go for the lead. That's perfect. Just leaving no room for negotiation. Baker's going to try and make a late lunge and Edmonds has to back down. They were lucky to get away with that one and up to third comes Kieran McDonald. So he's managed to get through in a third position as a result. Up into B4. That is uh, Cardwell making his way through. So Matthew Cardwell up into fourth position on the 63 and all at the expense of Sam Baker who is down to B5 he just got a little bit hungry there saw that gap on Edmonds as Halaki got through into the lead and thought well if you can get by I can as well didn't quite time it right David Willisey is in there in sixth position now it was a four-way scrap now it's a six-way scrap as they come off that final Kim Bolton hairpin and back onto the hind straight once again over the line into that first corner, nice move from Baker, dives up the inside there of Cardwell, and he's actually got a warning flag for that move he did on the previous lap then, so the official's clearly thinking, Sam, you need to calm down a little bit there, mate. That was a little bit too feisty. Cardwell, 44.560 for him there, the fastest lap of the race thus far as he comes through. So the 19, Will Halaki, still in front of Edmonds. He's getting a lot closer. You don't run away and hide in Clubman's, at least not very often. Now that is... Uh, I think that's the driver, uh, that's going to be Simon Harrison walking away and back to the marshal's post. So I think he was actually, I did think somebody had gone off on that first lap at uh, Derek's corner and wasn't sure. But I think he has now gone off the circuit at that first corner, uh, on that first lap, sorry. And that's where he's pulled off. Meanwhile, of the inside, Baker's got Kieran McDonald for third. So Baker threw in a third position. Then it is Cardwell in fifth, Willisey in sixth from Jones, Diamond, Yap and Hinton. Sam Baker, 44 dead for the new fastest lap. We're going to get a 43 fastest lap in this race for sure. But it's Halaki back in front of Edmonds again. Baker up to third position. He's very, very heavy onto the brakes though for Dan Weldon. He almost missed the corner altogether. And somehow he's been able to wrestle the car back under control. And he's been able to get himself back into a position. He's going to make a late lunge again on Edmonds. Well, he's already got one warning flag for that a few laps ago at Stowe. He doesn't want to do it again here. I won't go into the full regulations for this class, but uh, basically, guys, if you're looking for low-cost karting, the regulations are designed in this class so that so you're not always using new tyres and you can keep the cost absolutely down to a bare minimum for racing at club level. That's Baker. Baker dives up the inside of Edmonds and a very nice move too. Into second position he goes. Halaki still your leader. For some reason, his transponder's glitching. He is in the lead of the race though, don't fear. He's there in front of Baker, then Edmonds. Uh, fourth position now. That is the 50 of Kieran McDonald, and he's starting to size up a move. Can he slip by in a third position? 
He's not going to try anything too silly at that point on the course. Timekeeper, you can see, has uh, adjusted the timing as they go through the line. Will Halaki's, well, he's picked up this time the transponder. Baker on he's the inside. Lose the lead. That's a lovely move from Baker. And he shut the door just in time there as well because Halaki did look like he could get the undercut. But Baker very much on top of things. Willisie still there at the back of this queue in sixth position. Halaki back on the inside. Gets the move there. Great racing. And it, it does tend to be a lot closer in the clubman's because the budget racing keeps things very level. And, and up the move. inside, Baker gets him back again. That's three changes for the lead in one lap. Great battling. These carts and engines, an absolute level playing field. And at this level, this is a real budget class, real fun class but uh, gives you maximum bang for your buck. And uh, these guys having a great battle here. And uh, it's as serious as any other class this warning flag for McDonald's. So the officials not happy with something, just giving them a little warning, just calm down a little bit. But it always means that if the budget is kept to uh, an even level, that it all comes down to one thing, the talent. driver. Yeah, <laughs> all about the talent and the uh, drivers here very much at their A game. Obviously, they are the best clubman drivers at TKM level in the country. It's why they come to the TKM Festival weekend. They want the grand final to go on their mantelpiece, the trophy. But this battle is still very even. Four drivers close together. Now, what's happened to David Willisey? He seems to have dropped back a little bit there in sixth position behind uh, Matthew Cardwell, who made that brilliant move up to fifth position in the early stages. McDonald's backed off a little bit. I think that warning has given him just a little gentle snap on the wrist. He wants to just ease up a little bit, stay in touch with the leading three. But if those three jostle, he could get himself a nice move or two up the inside. It sometimes plays to be just that little bit careful as they go through Derek's corner. And up towards Dan Weldon, named after the late great racing legend, IndyCar Series champion and double Indy 500 champion who very tragically left us seven years ago. Really exciting battle at the front end here. Edmonds on the back of Halaki. Is he going to make the move? Yes, that was a lovely bit of braking. Deep braking into the apex. Plenty of commitment and conviction through the course. Halaki wants him back and he's going to drag McDonald up the inside with him. Halaki is through. He manages to get the door shut just in time. Edmonds puts his arm in the air as if to say, what are you playing at, mate? Great battling and the man who's enjoying this battle more than we are, Jake. Is a man out front, Sam Baker. Fastest lap and getting away from these oh, as McDonald's they keep through. battling. That will just slow them down and Baker's going to run away with this one. Yeah. But this is a great, uh, great battle we're following here for uh, second place. McDonald threw into third position. He had the nerve as well to do that one thing every kart racer hates. He got through and then just waved to Edmonds behind. Come on, work with me. Let's go get him. You just want to whack someone in the face when you've had that, don't you? As a, I've only carted a few times myself in A&D or corporate or charity events. And any time someone gets you and they just put the signal going, come on, work with me. The one thing you just want to do is put your bag of chips in their lap. You just don't want to get involved with them at all. You just want to get them straight back. Take and it. there Take you go. It. Another fastest lap, Jake. 43.93. That's what a clear track does, yeah, especially exactly. when you're in your rhythm. And I did say we were going to get a 43 lap for the fastest lap around this place. And I wasn't wrong. Beautiful run from Baker. But these three keep battling. And this is no longer for the win. It's for second only. I should mention as well, guys, you look at these graphics. The first time we've used them. Uh, the Tag Heuer graphics. I want to thank uh, Ian Rogers from Tag, who does the timing for the Super 1 British Karting Championships, for uh, going out of his way this weekend to uh, bring along all the equipment necessary for us to be able to take these graphics and overlay them for you. You'll notice as well that uh, with other systems, the positions, Jake, uh, you know, the normal sort of... Uh, uh, software that you would use will update at the end of each lap you'll notice these names you just see sectors. yeah it, it, it updates when they go through the sectors oh mcdonald alongside a that was braver to dan weldon that was worthy of dan weldon in fact just trying to go side by side in one of the toughest corners of the circuit but mcdonald had to bail i tell you what 10 out of 10 for effort though because that is not an easy place to get that sort of overtaking move done and now will halaki wanting to focus on baker up the Road is not going to be able to. McDonald slides it up the inside. Oh, Too much though, and Halaki oh, straight back action. in. Edmonds through as well. Great, great action. I've got to be honest, guys. This is the first year we've covered the TKM Festival, and with another move back by the 50, that's uh, McDonald going back through, taking the spot back. 
But uh, this is the first year, as indeed uh, we've, we've been doing at the British Championships this year in karting, covering everything here on the new television channel, which of course is YouTube, and we don't have to make cuts to fit a television schedule, a 12-minute race, for example. We see the entire race, and this is one of the races last year in a six-part programme on TV. One race, and it's usually the Clubman race, is, is going to miss out. So last year we had a sort of 90 second, 60 or 90 second yeah, highlights it's always of a this shame race. When we had to do this that. year, you're seeing the whole race, guys, and what a great race it is. It's great. These guys are finally getting the credit they deserve as Kieran McDonald goes back down the inside, banzai's into Derek's. Alaki's not going to let him have it easy. And a great bit of defense from McDonald as they dive into Dan Weldon once again. Halaki is absolutely determined to get that second position back. Marcus Edmonds there in fourth position. Absolutely resolute to get onto that podium. But ultimately, with Sam Baker so far out in front of the rest of these three, there's ultimately only two spaces on that podium to fill between three drivers. Someone's going to go yeah, without anything. Somebody's missing out without a trophy this weekend. It's going to be one of these guys, unless the man out front has some sort of mechanical failure. And we know these engines are pretty much bulletproof. They are fantastic. It's what makes the racing so even and it makes it so enjoyable for these guys in uh, the world of British karting at this uh, clubman level. You, one thing you don't want to be doing is stretching the engines too hard. You don't want to be pushing them to their extremes. And the last thing you want is an engine to go pop. It's very rare in clubmans that it does that because all they're interested in is close racing. They're not interested in having the very best tip-top equipment possible. These guys are in it for the racing, the spirit of competition that uh, James Hunt-esque, uh, you know, it's like being knights, as he said in Rush. That's what these guys are. Will Halaki up the inside. McDonald's going to get him on the switchback straight away. Zips back to the inside. A swap of positions and a swap straight back again. That's what the great racing in this class provides. It's brilliant. This, this class, every year at the TKM Festival, we get some fantastic racing. This year, of course, absolutely no different. We've still got the British Open Championships to come guys we've got two races left this weekend after this one don't miss them now Sam Baker out in the lead is gonna get one extra lap as up the move. inside that's Halaki he's there McDonald's resisting no that's great defense from McDonald any driver up the inside at Kim Bolton with that much audacity he's gonna get the move done but not with Kieran McDonald on the case he shuts that door beautifully I think that's the first time for a long time I've seen a move like that one successfully defended to the outside line Great, great, great action, I have to say. It's been a brilliant race, this. What, how many are in it, Jake? There's 11, there's 11 the of them at the start, 11 unfortunately. At the beginning, but these three have provided us with fantastic race action and entertainment. I'm not sure how many overtakes this is so far, but it's absolutely immense. Imagine if the leader wasn't there. This would be for the race win. Of course, we know it isn't, but just fantastic race action. The clock has counted down to zero, and that means the starter will hold out the last lap board. Sam Baker well in front. These three duking it out for second position. McDonald in front of Halaki. Round the outside, though. Edmonds is going to get up wheel to wheel with Halaki. He goes round the outside of Stoke Corner into third position. Halaki down to fourth. Baker not even breaking a sweat out front as these two duke it out for position. Halaki goes wheel rubbing with Edmonds as they go through. And Halaki back to third position. That might be job done for third position on the last lap they really have crossed swords so many times in this race but it's this man Sam Baker it may not be the biggest field clubman's but you do get a worthy winner after a gripping race Sam Baker gets the victory in the clubman's grand final in the Maxis TKM festival second for McDonald third for Halaki who almost caught McDonald in the closing stages Edmonds is fourth in front of Cardwell and David Willisey there is a slight timing error on the graphic, but we know the results. Sam Baker is victorious in front of Kieran McDonald and Will Halaki. Edmonds fourth, and that's where the discrepancy is on your graphic. Cardwell fifth from Willisey. Jones, Hinton, Yap, and our two retirements, Diamond and Harrison. But Baker is the winner. Just some great scraps all the way mm. through the weekend and fantastic uh, race there. Yeah, totally. Uh, that's why I love Clubman. There's not the grids we'd hope, but there's always five, six people that nose to tail so we're very happy yeah and you were just chucking it down the, the inside on the last lap weren't you uh well it's actually the outside into <laughs> yeah, the bus stop true, yeah. but i can't believe i actually got that stopped but um got over the line in third got to say well done to sam you sad the legs on all of us all weekend so uh well done sam okay well done to you thank you
So, uh, again, same thing with you, Kieran. I mean, you always seem to end up somewhere around the podium here and uh, a, a really uh, hectic race. Yeah, well, it's a bit of a scrappy start. I think I need to focus on improving my starts. But, uh, yeah, once the race gets going, the tyres start coming towards me and, yeah, I'll start making a few places back up. And, yeah, I'm really glad to get second place after three years out of the seat. So, yeah, really happy with that. Yeah. Well done to you. Thank you very much. And then finally, Sam. Now, Sam... Actually, the beginning of the uh, final there, it looked like things might have gone wrong because you went backwards rather than forwards. I went backwards very quickly. Uh, yeah, it was just, I thought, got to the first corner and I thought, oh, brilliant, got round and the next minute I've ran wide and they've all come past me like a train. I've come off the track and all sorts. I think the second lap I got a warning flag as well for hitting somebody else. It just, I think I was going down into the bus stop and I was thinking, how the hell have I ended up in fifth? And then eventually tyres picked back up and we managed to pick them off one by one. Nice and steady, and away we went. Yeah, so, you got a bit, of a bit of a clear run at the end then. Yes, it was quite lucky. I thought I'd have to defend much, but once they start battling, you just get a little gap and away you go. So it was, yeah, it was fairly easy by the end of it, it feels like, but I was so tired by the end of it after 12 <laughs> minutes of racing. So, yeah, very pleased. Congratulations to Sam Baker. If you've run out of popcorn, I'd go and pop a second bag if I were you. The O-Plates are next up.